So in this assignment, we're going to be creating a motivational poster. And I've already work opened up the picture that I'll be working with. And the next step is to create a mat. Um, so we're going to click on File. And from File, you're going to click on New. And from New, you're going to go to Blank File. Now the settings for the blank file, we're going to start off by creating a square. And our square is going to measure 10 inches by 10 inches and the resolution will be set at 300 pixels per inch. So I'm going to go ahead and create that. The next step would be to drag our the picture we're going to be working with onto our square canvas. So to do that, I'm going to be moving it using the move tool. So I click on the picture and drag it to my canvas. Now I won't be needing my original picture anymore so I can actually close that. So here you can see my canvas in the background with the picture I'm going to be working with on my top layer. Now the first step would be to resize that picture so it fits on the canvas. And I'm going to do that by dragging the corner of the picture. You really have to make sure to drag the corner and not the side or the bottom. So by dragging this corner I will be resizing the picture. Now, I want to place this on my canvas, but I want my top and my side to be equidistant. Now, to better figure that out, I'm going to be using something called grids. And to get to your grid, you're going to click on View, and then you're going to check grid. Now this will allow me to center my picture and resize it so it fits perfectly. So I'm dragging the corners again and my picture right here is exactly four blocks or squares from the edge. So I'm going to make sure this lines up perfectly. And once I'm happy with that, I can check it. Now, for this motivational poster, my background is going to be black. So I'm going to want to create a back background. So click on your background layer. And we're going to duplicate that by pressing Control J. Now from here, we're going to get use our paint bucket and make sure black is selected and then let's pour some black paint throughout that layer great now the next step would be to create our mat and to do so I'm going to click on my top layer, which is the picture. And what I'm going to do right now is duplicate that by pressing Control J. I'm now going to go to my, I'm actually going to unselect that for now. So um, make it non-visible by clicking on the eye. And now I'm going to go to my second top layer here. What I'm going to do with this layer right now is paint over it. Um, so I'm going to find my paintbrush tool and I'm going to make it a very, a very, very big brush. So I'm actually at 2,500 pixels right now. And now I'm going to select a color from within this um, this picture. And the 
color I'm going to pick is probably an orangey color from the flowers. I'm going to click on OK. And now what I'm going to do is, um, before I start painting, I want to tell Photoshop that I just want to paint the, um, the picture itself to create that matte. So what I'm going to do is use my magic wand tool. And I'm going to select uh, a black space right here. And the important part right now is to collect select inverse. So I'm selecting inverse. And now that's just selected uh, the picture part of it. And that's when you choose the paintbrush tool and you're going to paint over it. So I'm painting my orange all over that picture. And now I have a orange rectangle to work with. So from here what we're going to do is we're going to make that top layer visible again by clicking on the eye. And what I'm going to want to do is, by keeping the um, orange rectangle layer activated, I'm going to resize that. So to resize it, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Image, and then you're going to click on Transform, and then click on Free Transform. Now it's really important right now that you uncheck the constraint proportions box at the top. That has to be unchecked. And now what we have to do is zoom into one of the corners of our picture. So I'm going to zoom into the top corner first. And right now what I'm going to do is click on the corner and drag it out. Now I'm going to drag it out half box. Now that's one side of it. Now I have to do the other. So I'm going to go to the opposite corner and I'm also going to drag it out by half a box. So I'm going to check that. I'm going to zoom back out to see what it looks like. I'm quite happy with the results. And just for now, I'm going to take off my grid by clicking on View and then Grid. So here we have it. We have our picture. We have our mat. That's the same color as the flowers in the picture. And the next step would be to add um, a heading. So for that, we're going to use the text tool. And you want to make sure that the text you choose is quite sober. Now, I'm not really sure about the size yet, so I'm going to put that at 72. And a good font for this might be something like Book Antiqua. I'll let you explore the different fonts, but you're going to want to look for something quite sober. So. Using the text tool, I'm going to select this area approximately, and I've chosen uh, the word soulmate. So notice that when I'm typing this out, it's all capitalized, and I'm also spacing the letters by inserting a space in between each letter. So S space O U L. Perfect. So now I'm going to want to center this. Now I think my letters are a bit too big, so I'm going to go back to my text tool. I'm going to highlight this text, and I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. I'm going to put this at 62. So I'm manually entering 62. And there we have it. So now the distance between your heading and the picture should be just a little bit less than the space you have on the sides and at the top. So I'm placing that approximately right here. And the last step would be to enter a quote. And the quote 
you can write just below it and usually the text is a bit smaller I'm going to put this at 24 and what I'm going to do right now is write that text just below it and I'm just going to want to make sure that that text layer is at the top because if it's below you actually won't see it so um, Now the last step would be to, there's a bit too much space at the bottom right here, and what we're going to do right now is um, crop that out. So by using your crop tool, you can crop, and actually, I just want to make sure that the crop settings are empty, and then you can just crop this. And the spacing at the bottom should be the same spacing that you have on also on the sides. So there we have it. I'm quite happy with the results right now. I'm going to save that as a PSD so I can work with it later. And I'm also eventually going to resize it for the web so I can post this. Thanks for listening to this tutorial.